Whoa, chicken fight. Yeah, you're right. Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. Last night, I spent several hours sitting next to a warm fire, quite the warm fire, too, on the river, watching nothing unfold. Yeah, bad catfish session. Got skunked. Thought many times I thought this. Oh, I'm real close. I'm real close. But no, I never got close. Just got my baits tore up by little fish. So here we are up on this ditch. Look at it. It's a little murky, right? Little murky because yesterday morning was wet. Not last night, but the night before last, it was raining all night and throughout the morning. So when I got out on the river yesterday, it was pretty much after a lot of rain and then it dropped down into the 30s last night. So this ditch that I'm on, it drains a big portion of the area and there's a few others that drain it as well but they all go that way towards Barrier. that's the bayou that oh you were looking at the sky that's the bayou that i spent several days on recently looking for panfish because we're in that season right i had to come up here to go to the post office because that's quite close to here so i thought i would stop and check this out see what's up because Sometimes those big red ears, along with Sakale, you know, crappie, will run up this ditch to this point here because this bend that I'm in is probably one of the deepest areas on the ditch. There's a couple of deep areas, but this is deeper. Those deeper areas are that way. And after this bend, it is quite shallow. I'm not gonna bother with the jig here at the moment. May never even get to the jig. Just got a little piece of red worm right there. As per usual, size six Aberdeen. It's, I'm gonna drop shot this little bit of red worm. And as per usual, I am going to leave a fair amount hanging off to attract the big ones. It's not just dirty water it's also the time and those two factors are the biggest for why I'm not doing the jig here or I don't feel the jig at all this afternoon we may try it but as you see here at this spot I'm not even doing the ditch I dropped down through this crate through the grate I call it a crate anyway I where I was just doing my intro next to that culvert, it comes back this way. And the water maybe goes, maybe as far as the tree right there. There's another access point right there, but then that's it. So there might be some good things hiding back there because sometimes I've done well on red ears coming through that grate. Well, I'm not doing good, but I did not give it a lot of time, maybe five minutes so it is just around four as you can see do you want to see maybe not but the sun is up and it's got a ways to go maybe about an hour before sunset i am thinking about going to a different spot but while i was sitting there thinking about that I heard something fluttering around. I looked down this way and I spent about five to 10 minutes observing the activity of this bird. And the bird seems to be struggling like he can't leave the area that he's in. Oh, did he just leave the area? I wonder what he was doing because he just flew off. I thought he was hung up on something. So if he wasn't hung up on something, was he feeding? Cause he was going nuts right over in here. And he was one of those white egret looking birds. The sun was in my eyes, so I couldn't really clearly identify the bird. But if he was feeding, what else is here feeding along with him? Are there fish over here? This is, the actual spot where the bird for like 10 minutes seemed to be stuck. He may, maybe he was and he 
got unstuck. It was like there was a line. I thought maybe he was stuck in fishing line. Oh, well, there's a little bass for you. If you know where the Smurfs are, maybe you could have a buffet for them or something even smaller. Put that on a toothpick. So was that bird feeding off of stuff? Or was he hung on something? I don't see any fishing line here. But yeah, he he was trying to fly away and he just seemed to be like stuck. He'd fly, he'd flutter his wings up and not be able to get out of here. For about like 10 minutes he did that. Even though there's no evidence of fishing line, and I can't be 100% that the bird was hung up on anything, it may have just been feeding, I always say this anyway. Do not leave fishing line laying around at your fishing spots. Take it with you. When you get hung up out in the water, don't cut the line, break it. Pull and break. If you have to wrap it around a stick, wrap it around a stick. There's been a few times where I've had to take line off of stuff. And there's a video on this channel somewhere where I had to get in the water and rescue a turtle that was wrapped around a bunch of line. V line just came from over there headed this way. There are some bites here. Yeah, from little things. Gotcha. What do we got? Well, not getting skunked at this spot. Even if I do go to another spot, it won't be because I can't fit, catch fish here. Look. Oh. Something tried to chomp you. You know, in some regards when I let this fish go it's going to be a good thing because he can get bigger but in other regards I'm just giving whatever took a bite at him a second chance it's all good pull in a paladin have bike will travel it's a reference to a western that I grew up on So essentially yesterday was a rain event. However, it ended in the morning, so it had all day to calm down out here. The water's not extremely dirty, but it's not extremely clean either. Tomorrow is predicted to be a rain event as well. I wanted to produce a catfish video. So yeah, I tried that last night and it did not go according to plan. I just didn't feel like going through that again tonight. And it is January. This is the time of year where most of my concerns are about panfish. Sokolay being top of the list. All right, we found something cool for the moment anyway and it took my bait in the tire got him nope
Homo serum. It's likely just a small bluegill because it's not a big fish. Could be a goggle eye. Not the first time I've caught something out of the tire either. I don't know if mama or your mama said it, but definitely January is a month where that can be said. There will be days like this where <laughs> not much comes from it. Yesterday was worse. However, today's not been that great because it's just been little fish, but chill. What will tomorrow bring besides raindrops? Ugh. Yeah, <laughs> empty. All right, that's it for this spot. It can be good, but drop shotting it can be bad. Snags, right? Plus, I didn't bother to bring the tackle down there, so who knows what is going to happen now. Oh, dip is right. Dipstick, maybe. However, it is a dip in the week, and this is just a short little video to get us through that dip in the week, guys. Yeah, the bad part of the week. Thanks for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, and being a member of the channel, and I will see you next time.